So once you already have your domain name, the next step you have is to go and connect it to your Wix account. There is two ways for you to go about. And the first way is to go into Wix itself and to press on connect a domain name you already own. Now, when you're actually going to be doing this, you have to select a plan. So you have to upgrade your membership. There is a few different choices we actually have here and it's up to you to decide which one is best for you. The cheapest one is of course four bucks a month. Now four bucks a month for 12 months is actually getting expensive and for a few years you are going to be paying a hefty amount of cash. So if you don't want to pay this much amount of money for connecting your domain name to your Wix account, you can do the same method that I did myself. And what you have to do is very simple. First off, logging in to your GoDaddy account and GoDaddy is the simplest one and the one I use because I find it the most convenient and it gives me the best prices. So I will show you exactly how to do this. What we'll be doing in here, we'll be masking the domain name. What I mean is that we go into the preferences where it says the domain name itself and all we have to do is to manage my own website which is the domain setting. So let's go and into the domain setting itself and now we have to manage the connection. It is the simplest process and the cheapest one we could possibly do. So after we go in here it gives me an option and it's so easy to do this. All you have to do is to update the forwarding right here. So what it does and what you can do when you get to the same exact menu, you can update your forwarding exactly to your own website. So whatever your website address actually is, it forwards it to your domain name, which is my domain name. Let me show you some advanced editing that you can actually do when it comes to masking your domain name out. So the first step that you want to do when you're actually doing it is to go inside here and fix the way it forwards. There is two ways for you, you to forward this. One is to forward only and second to forward with masking. There is a big difference between the two. Masking doesn't show you the subdomain. So after you go in it, it always shows you the same exact domain name and it doesn't change because you're getting it masked. By forwarding only, what it does, it just moves to the address of it alone, which means that you type it in and it goes straight to your domain name, but it still shows whoever is there that the real website that you actually um, created, which is not this good. So if you want to look really professional, you would forward it with masking. That's the way the pros actually do it. The next thing that you can do here, and this is the cool thing, you can add the title of the website itself. This is what people see when they go to your website. You can add some description to tell a little more what your website is all about. And then you can use some keywords to help with the SEO. So if somebody looks on Google and tries to find it, it's more easy for them to find it.